Let's review what we've covered so far. First, we discussed human rights research is rooted in treaties protecting civil, political, and economic and social rights. You've learned that you can use these treaties and other human rights standards to spot potential rights violations by governments. And you now know that this skill is called issue spotting. You also know that as you're gathering testimony, you're looking to gather the key facts like dates, places, and the people or institutions involved in the events that you're documenting. But once you've pieced together all of the details, how do we report them? In this chapter, we're going to discuss just that. You'll learn how to draft your human rights report, and we'll focus on how you can make sure your work matches the standards of the United Nations. Even though you're tailoring your work to the UN, the good news is that if you adhere to these standards, you'll have also produced something that can be shared with governmental agencies, large human rights organizations, policy think tanks, and more.